Hello and welcome everyone. I am Christopher Miniweather of Deadstock Barbershop. For those of you who do not know me, I make videos on YouTube to help barbers take their skills to the next level. I'm here today with the Johnny B brand and we're going to be bringing you guys a modern twist to a classic cut, the mullet. Before I start, I just want to mention that any product or tool that you see me using, even something as simple as this water bottle, can be purchased or ordered online or through the Johnny B catalog. So as we prepare to cut the top, we're gonna wet it down with Johnny B Code B. It is a water and oil based product which will help his hair stay damp a lot longer than just water alone. So as you can see, the client has not had a haircut in over a year. So what I'm doing now is debulking this area. We will be using our clippers to do the fading in this area, but I just wanna clear out some hair so that I can see and not go in blindly. Next, I'm gonna take this number two and I'm gonna go straight off the head making sure that the hair is able to layer. We're not gonna follow the shape of his head, but we're gonna go straight off. So whenever I'm working with any guard over number two, I'll use a comb. For anything closer than that, any intricate fading, detail work, I'll use a brush. So this is the Johnny B Barber Brush. The system is as follows. We're gonna close the clippers to put in the initial guideline. Then we open it up about halfway, going up another half an inch, and then we'll close it a quarter of the way taking out that line that was left and then we'll open them up all the way and we'll close it to three quarters and take out that guideline. Switching over to my Andes Masters, I'm gonna go up another quarter of an inch with these, just using the corner of the blade. This will ensure that I don't leave another harsh line. We're just trying to fade out that dark area. So next up, we're looking to remove a little bit more of that bulk or a little bit of that weight from behind the ear. So we're just gonna pull the hair out naturally from where it grows and just do a little clipper over comb work and take some of that out so it can blend in a little bit. Now switching over to our trimmers, we're gonna clean up behind the ear. This is just a little smooth rough draft. What we will do at the end of the haircut, we'll come back in and detail every portion of this haircut, just making sure that we don't miss anything and that it looks as great as possible. Okay, so now we're gonna move to the other side. In order to have a great haircut, one that is symmetrical, we wanna make sure that we do the same steps on both sides. So I'm using number two, going straight off the head. Then we're gonna pull out our wall seniors, close them up, set in our guidelines and take them out. And then we'll go to our Andes Masters and fade that line out. And then we'll be ready to blend it up. Now we pull out our trimmers once again and we're gonna clean over the ear. We're just gonna put a nice clean line over the ear. We're not taking it up too high. We want it in its natural position, but we want it to look as clean as possible. And as you're cutting hair, you wanna always make sure that your eyes are open for any dark spots, any light spots. Even though I was using my trimmers, I was still checking out his fade. That way I can make sure that I'm making it as good as possible. I'll go back in, put the guard back on and take out whatever I see. Now we wet his hair down a little bit more with some code B and we're gonna prepare to trim the top with scissors. Pulling straight from the middle, we're gonna even it up with the front because that's the length that I want. And doing this portion, I'm just cleaning it up. Anything that's hanging over the sides, we're gonna take off because all of this is gonna go up into what we call a crop top. So right now I'm just pulling that hair out straight from where it grows and we're just layering it so we're making sure that we keep it square on the sides because it's gonna give us the shape that we're looking for that'll have his crop top sitting nicely on the top of his head. To add texture and movement for the top of his head, make sure that you point cut. All right, so just to refine the blend a little bit, we bring our scissors out one more time and we're gonna make sure that that connection to the top is smooth. Now switching over to our blow dryer on a heat setting, we're gonna blow all this hair forward and make sure that it's dry. So when it comes to the fringe or the bang area, we're gonna blow it straight down. We're going to line it up. The reason I'm taking a little extra time is because his hair was so long and he had it parted down the middle that his hair wants to separate in the middle as you can see. So now that I got it where I want to, I pull out my actual clippers, not my trimmers because the hair is kind of thick. So we want to just knock all of that off and then we'll come back with the trimmers and do the small detail work. So 
Switching over to my trimmers, as you can see, there is a difference between the clippers and the trimmers when you're doing a lineup. This is a much more crispier look, a much more sharper edge than the clippers can actually give. So this is my detail work on his edge up. Using my blending scissors, I'll now begin to soften up the blend. You will notice that I'm not going deep into his hair. I'm only hitting the tips. Only the tips of the hair are coming through the comb and I'm hitting that. Switching over to the other side, as you can see, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Only the tips are coming through the end of my comb. And then I'll begin to play with his hair, tease it a little bit, just to see how his hair will react to me styling it and see how it will look ultimately in the end. The goal is to make sure that we do the best job that we can and make him look as good as possible. Now we're gonna do a little bit more detail work with our trimmers. You wanna make sure that the edge up is as clean and crispy as possible. So that's why we pull our trimmers back out and we're just gonna hit that edge, refine it a little bit and make him pop. So next up, we're gonna prepare for the blow dry style. We're gonna start by adding some product. This is Johnny B Street Cream. It's perfect because it's gonna add thickness and volume to his hair while leaving a matte finish. And now we're just going for a messy textured top. And this is pretty much it. We're just gonna mess around with it and get it to how we like it to look. Blow all the rest of his hair back, get it standing up, add a little Johnny B Lifted, which is a holding spray. Thank you all so much for watching this video. This has been Christopher Miniweather with Deadstock Barbershop and Johnny B signing off.